The president's first cousin, former political rivals and re-electionists. This is the administration's senatorial slate, which the coalition calls a powerhouse. The ruling Liberal Party aligns with four others for 2013. Nationalista Party, Nationalist People's Coalition, Partylist Akbayan, and Laban ng Democratic ng Pilipino. Of the slate, only three are from LP. The rest come from its new allies, including three independent candidates. It's a rainbow coalition, but President Benigno Aquino III says what matters is they all support his agenda of reform. Marami po sa kanila ang nakatrabaho ko na. Sila ang umarap sa pagsagasa ng tren na nakarang administrasyon. Pwede naman pumalit na lang sila sa mali at tumama sa nakaliwat ka ng beneficyo. Pero tumaya sila sa tama at tumindig kasama ng sambayanan kontra sa katiwayan. Of the 12, three candidates, Lauren Legarda, Francis Chiz Escudero, and Grace Folia Manzares, are guests of the opposition, the United National Alliance led by Vice President Jej Marbinay. Senator Franklin Drillon, who was the campaign manager for 2010, says it is a clear rule that those in LP slate will not campaign for UNA. We cannot prevent them from adopting some of our candidates, but we certainly find problematic if these candidates they adopt or the representatives of the candidates they adopt would suddenly appear in the rallies because when they endorse the candidates of the other side, that means they are junking the candidates in the coalition. It is a harsh rule, but the president gets what he wants. All candidates that UNA and LP are courting choose the administration slate, including Legarda, who has continuously topped surveys. Legarda kept quiet until the proclamation rally, where she tells reporters she could not say no to Aquino. No less than the president uh, invited me to Malacanang last Thursday to personally invite me to join the LP, NPC, NP coalition. Ang tinanong ko sa akin sarili, sino ba naman ako para humindi? Aquino's confidence in his slate shows. In a room full of LP yellow, Aquino's rhetoric slams Una. Pwede bang tama rin ang kontra sa amin? Kung doon sila palig, masasabi po ba natin may muliwanag silang pag-iintindi sa tama at mali? At kung di naman maliwanag, saan naman po kaya tayo dadalhin na kanilang pamumulo? The Rainbow Coalition concept was popularized by former Speaker Jose de Venecia Jr. during the Ramos administration. De Venecia formed the Rainbow Coalition because then-President Fidel Ramos won the presidency in 1992 through a ragtag political party, the La Casa CMD, which later on grew into a ruling party. Not only does the president get his way, but with his ratings highest now since he first took office, Aquino's lineup looks promising, regardless of its strange bedfellows. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Manila.